Hey, I'm Fizzy. My name is Fizzy. Fizzy Easy. Fizzy. Right now I'm drinking on some hornitos, man. Some of the real fucking fire water. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing the twins as long as you think it's been alive. You feel me? It was real beefy out there. The niggas got their hands up and uh you know, sometimes they got whooped, but sometimes they got it in. You feel me? You feel me? Hey. They was curious, man. They was curious. They got to really know this jungle shit. You feel me? Live that jungle life. I mean, them niggas got their initiation. I've been knowing them all their life. You feel me? I really fuck with them. That's the truth, bro. Me, personally, I think they're fine as fuck. You know, if I want to just get my rocks off, yeah, I fuck them. But, you know, I wouldn't fuck with them. Where are they? Moran, she said, but I don't know where that is. I love that. Is this Florida? It just it just seems like Florida, but what is it in California? Wait, really? <laughs> Moran City, California is at the bay. Are they sponsored by Chet Hanks? No, this is the real Chet Hanks. This is what Chet Hanks aspires to be. But it's uh it's NorCal, I guess. Okay. I don't fucking know anything about NorCal. They've definitely fucked every girl in this video. Oh, straight up. Put them like that. They always buy backwood, Don Julio Anejo, and Henny. Both of them spend like a hundred bucks for the alcohol and tobacco together. Every day. Every day, hundred bucks. I love them. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> Hello. Huh? At least we on quarantine right now, though. Man, six feet apart. Hello. Oh, he like, he like, yeah, yeah. You hurry? Bro. Right now. Bro, what yeah. the fuck is you bitch. doing? What is you doing? You nigga, nigga this is my bitch. bitch. Get the, the fuck, nigga? Bitch, I thought this my hood. I could walk nigga, wherever this my the hood too. Home. Nigga, I could do whatever I was walking up here, nigga. Keep record, nigga. We over here. Nigga, watch out for this. Hey, she might hit you, though. Be careful, though. Nigga, you better stop That's playing, bro. Bitch, I'll stab the fuck out of you right now. Nigga, I ain't getting too much started out here, nigga. Why you think you're the fuck, fuck nigga? I'll do whatever the fuck I want out here. Look, Granny, you look at her. One calls me Granny. The other one calls me Grandma. And that's the way I know the difference. <laughs> I didn't put in too much dirt out here, nigga. Bitch, get the fuck up out of here. Tell her to get your bitches, nigga. It's no sense in arguing, okay? Yeah, I know, I know, Granny. I'm not trying to argue. Mm -hmm. Man, them bitches was tripping. Oh my God, he's got a rat tail with the full buzz. Oh my God. Hey, this is near me. I didn't know these creatures were near me. Oh, well, now you know, dude. Oh my God, he's got a fucking rat tail, dude. Hey, bro, why Tyler bitches gotta kill the whole? Uh, Your bitch. That's them Tyler bitches. But they're nice. Both of them are pretty decent boys, <laughs> and they try to do what's right. And I'm proud. Of, that's why I'm proud of them. They work and they try to do what's right. Ah. I mean, we we winners. You know? So yeah, we yeah, we, com we competitive. How is this nigga way over there? You could do too. Man, we've been playing chess our whole life, man. It's the name of the game, man. That, that's who I am. I'm the king right here on the back. Sitting back in my chair running the show. Thank you. Yeah, I see you. Oh, man. Man. Come on, man. What's happening with you? How you doing? You know, I got my own shit now, you know? Oh, okay. Plumbing and all. I'm doing my shit right now. Are you a yeah, plumber already? Right, right, good. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, I laid a body. Yeah. Oh, man. Hey. But nah, real shit, though. Yeah. I'm a plumber, though. Yeah, no, Tyler, Tyler's a very good plumber. For real. I taught him everything he knows. It's a very hard thing to do. You got to get in some really fucked up positions. And, um, he went in at 100%. Hey, Tyler, I'm a better plumber than you. He's a better plumber. See? <laughs> I like more pipe than yeah, yeah, see? Hey, 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 hey. Big ass pipe. <laughs> bro, bro will come take care of your house. Bro, I collect. I'm going to come rob your house. <laughs> y'all ain't really on y'all. I'm trying to get scared of them, Oh my god, this car, bro. Oh my god, he's even got like the fucking the 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 radio that you can take out. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh, 
these streets don't be scared for me. I'ma let this bitch rip on my head, niggas. You can't even say this is appropriation. They live this shit. No, this is this is why I started this with the Dave Chappelle bit, like the the classic Dave Chappelle bit about the the white dude living in the ghetto, the one that like you really got to look out for. Official pace car of racism. <laughs> this is 2021, guys. He's just like they're shooting it with like a. They did it on purpose with the VHS quality. That's a stylistic choice. I like Tyler more because he's more ambitious. Alex is ambitious, but in a different way. Ah. Finesse uh, twin. Two black bitches in the bins, huh? These bitches love hanging around me. Pull up with a fat backwoods, some Don Julio. These bitches do whatever you say, though. Like. Alex buys me whatever the fuck I want Alex to buy me. I ain't invest no money in her, but she invests money in me. Alex buy me food. Alex buy me clothes. I'm really that bitch, and most people don't know that. But I love Alex. I really do. He's definitely better than all my other boyfriends for sure. <laughs> Lover boy, they just coming with us. You know, they getting tired. They don't want to get loved all the time. They want to get treated like shit sometimes, like man. Get choked, slap, and beat up from the back. Yeah, man. I'm the bad twin. He the good twin. He's finesse, and I'm success, man. But we got the master plan. Ginger shot. Health is wealth. Come on, man. I'm trying to last. I'm trying to last. Be the last nigga standing. Chestnut checkers. You know, checkmate. That's the goal. Man, look, look, you, you see Rocky? Yeah. <laughs> look at the dog, though, trapped out. <laughs> <laughs> it cost 10000 but I ain't paid 10000 I went to San Bernardino and got it for eight. It's my dog. The dog is in my name. Alex told me it was $10,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no. Hey, excuse me. It's Can a beautiful dog, though. Liquor, Oh my god, they are, dude. Someone said they're Ed and Jin Romy from the Boondocks. They literally are. I mean, if we if the big reveal in the end is that their like father is like a real estate developer or some shit, you know, that's like straight up. Straight up. Right on, bro. Big Neho. That song is catchy, I gave him though. to Alex, though, because Alex really love him. They take care of him. $10,000. <laughs> no. True. Come here, man. No, come come introduce yourself. Her trying to tell on me. She, she finna that, tell? You a snitch? Her told me to say bad word. What you, and you said it? You gonna listen to her? If someone tell you jump off the bridge, you gonna jump off the bridge? No. Okay. Oh, my God. They're great role models. Come on, dude. You can't get mad at them. Look, look at him. He's, he's being a great role model to this child. True set off fireworks. He's oh, Don Dada, as we know. Uh, I didn't know this, but uh, we, I learned that word because of Chet Hanks. Uh, that means like, isn't that mean like the white Don or something? Don Dada. Because Chet Hanks has it in the White Boy Summer song too. It means like your top Don, right? White Don Dada means like the top Don. Don Dada just means the top Don, right? Like the Don of the Dons or something. Fuck, I, I fucked it up. It means you're like the OG. Why has nothing to do with Don Dada? Okay, sorry. He says he's the white Don Dada. That's what Chet Hanks is. I've never seen such a Florida space in California before, by the way. Like this is, you tell me. Oh, he's the most respected. Okay, thank you. Uh, you tell me that this is like 
California, I'm like, this is no shot. I've lived in both Florida and also California, as you guys know, and this is the most Florida ass space I've ever seen in California. Set a fire in the house. Damn. I'm a done daughter. Think I let a smell of that gunpowder. Pass the whole little bro so he can get some guns out. Do you like to fight? Okay, people are gonna get mad at me, but like their songs are kind of not bad. Like it's not great, but it's not like absolutely abysmal. I'm not afraid to admit that. Okay, like they're but they're like low key. Be honest, you thought it was gonna be worse. You straight up thought it was going to be way worse, and you're like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> I guess I originally thought this was gonna be some like uh like white rapper shit, where uh you know, like the the YouTube white rapper lyrical mystical spiritual type shit and it's not that bad a lot of rap runs off the bass sound no <laughs> what the fuck yeah that's my son badass son we, we, we trying to get it together mom no these mom. guys don't play tom mcdonald these guys make fun of tom mcdonald is they live it we are bastard yeah, sons, this damn hell right and, here. and this our bastard mom. No, you, know you are saying? not. <laughs> they were nice when they were little, and then they had to fight to like not have to fight around here. They used to have to run home, and kids be chasing them down with like baseball bats and two by fours up the hill. They'd be like, "Mom, mom, open the door!" She'd be like, get that shit up out of here, take it out of here. And exactly. we, we had to pave a way. They had to pay. Now, the now we jungle made. You know what I mean? This all this family all around here. Man. We okay. don't got no other family but here. Okay, that's straight up the Eminem era, bro. You cannot tell me otherwise. This is 100% the Eminem era. Hey, you know what I mean? This all this family all around here. Man. We don't got no other family but here. You know? But it wasn't always sweet. Cause they was trying to kick us out the hood when we first moved here. My house then got robbed and shit, all this shit. Every day we had- Is this what failed gentrification looks like? Like they just, they came in and they were like, <laughs> one of them is anaphase, I'm convinced. We came in, they tried to kick us out. We fought our way to the top. But well, look, hey, talk is cheap, man. C come and see, bitch. Huh? They get strong in this neighborhood. So if you come through this neighborhood, you're gonna be strong the rest of your life. But guess what? They stayed safe here. Everybody loved them here. And they're part of the community. And it's a beautiful thing because they can go anywhere in the world and they know how to deal with different Like this is what the, the white kid from Naperville thinks when he when he uh thinks he has the N-word pass. You know what I mean? Like this is what all the fucking suburb white kids think they have. You know what I mean? people and uh handle their business correctly and for one we ain't just trying to say nigga it's just in our vocabulary this well, is, I, I say that shit on accident that's just how i say it like it I, I don't even realize when i say it it's just regular like this is my nigga right here it's, that's like saying what? what's up uh, with my brother like, uh, I mean, hmm? that's what it is like does anyone ever get mad at you for saying Yeah, they do in it. And, 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 out, out and we check their ass too. They got on them. Hey, nigga, what? They got on them, no, nigga. I can say I'm one of them niggas that ain't never really pressed them. But I like how they move, you feel me? Really from that block. <laughs> That's so good, dude. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? That hog boy shit, nigga. That H is for the hitter. A answer to no man. W for word, nigga. That G is for God's son, bro. You feel me? You understand that? You know where I'm coming from. Back against the wall, you feel me? You come up out that motherfucker, you feel me? Like a lion, bro. You feel me? With that pride, you feel me? Come see these niggas out here in the jungle, man. They go crazy. They really do the do. You hear it? A lot of niggas, man, you feel me? Never speak down. That's in my vocabulary. This is what Aiden Ross's chat thinks they are? Oh, 100%. 100%. Birds of a feather flock together. I'm, I'm not white. Like, what are you talking about? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, I, didn't want I mean, I am white, but I feel you know, like I'm just said. like, you know, it's just are, regular. Like, I don't know. What else I'm going to say? Everybody, everybody say I'm not white, but I know I'm white. And then I'm, feel me? I'm, I'm glad I'm white. Yeah, we got the best of both worlds, bitch. You know, we got the best of both worlds. Feel me? I, yeah. Dude, oh my God. This is literally, this is, this is it. This is further confirmation that like all white people want is to be able to say the n-word dude like that's it 
that's it that's literally just like that's what white people are fighting for it's crazy <laughs> he said he said we we got the best of both worlds dude oh this is great wanting to say the n-word is white culture straight up yeah i use this white privilege too bitch don't get it wrong ho. you know you can consider them black or whatever you want to call them but them little white boys right there them the baddest little white boys in the whole motherfucking california if you ask me yo that's hilarious i mean of course they understand white privilege better than fucking lockheed martin executives dude they're surrounded by black people living amongst black people obviously they understand white privilege better than they do than than the fucking uh lockheed martin executives that live in fucking gated communities that have never seen a black person beyond like uh you know someone serving them food or some shit yeah no shit they do this is the future liberals want i actually kind of like these guys no lie dude this is it's great so they acknowledge white privilege straight up here let's run that back Literally, he's just like, he's just like, yeah, we got white privilege. <laughs> Birds of a feather flock together. I'm not, I'm not white. Like, what are you talking about? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I, I mean, I am white, but I feel like I'm just said. like, you know, it's just regular. Like, I don't know. What else I'm going to say? Everybody, everybody say I'm not white, but I know I'm white. And then I'm, feel me, I'm, I'm glad I'm white. Yeah, we got the best of both worlds, bitch. You know, we got the best of me. I, I use this white privilege too, bitch. Don't get it wrong, ho. You know, you can consider them black. Or whatever you want to call them, but them little white boys right there, them the baddest little white boys in the whole motherfucking California, if you ask me. They got expelled from my middle school for fucking a girl in the bathroom. Wait, what? Together? Do people in the chat not realize that there are white people living in the hood? I mean, I don't know. Maybe. When you white, you gotta go a little hard. Oh, dude, they dropped the Cash App, dude. Look at that sponsor. When you white. <laughs> Never mind. I don't think. Did he? Is he saying cash up? You gotta go a little harder. With that whole money, I'm trying to go a little farther. No. Yeah. Entrepreneur by day, womanizer by night. Come on, man. Foot on their neck. Yeah, Tyler. He's a 24-hour plumber and after-hours player. There. <laughs> Before I was in 419, I was in the. Bitch, play. you broke. Why the fuck you got a cash app? <laughs> the trailer. We was running hoes, selling dope. Hey, don't we ain't never even sleep when we was in this motherfucker. They was knocking on the door. Uh, All the bitches wanted this, and we was in this. Yeah, in the RV, busting them down. And this motherfucker used to be like this. <laughs> we both. <laughs> can't, we can't incriminate ourselves because there's still a case out. Huh? They, they still waiting to get us. We used to sell weed all the time in, in downtown in the city. We meet some dude, like some, some little short black dude. He's like, I got zips for a hundred dollars. So we get on bar with the dude, go to Richmond with him. We get in the car, but as soon as we get in the car, four Debo's in the car. The fuck? What? Why, why are you explain? Okay. And we 17 years old, just two little white boys. We was off Zanny's for the first time. We was not on our shit. They walk us in the fucking house. Wait, oh, blood uh, incoming? There's blood? Are we talking real blood or, or hold on? Let me just pre-watch real quick. Sorry, boys. I'm just uh, scanning for blood, scanning for blood, scanning for blood. Oh, there's blood at 1250. Okay, got it. Thank you. House, bro. As soon as they walk us in, bro, they both pistol with me and I was, mm. They all cocked their guns back. Like, no, get on top of your brother. Lay down and get on top of your brother. They're like, yeah, we gonna kill y'all, right? Get on top of your brother. They all cocked their shit back. God picked us up, bro. We both rose up and broke out the house. <clears throat> out of there. All I know, we was on the street now. Break it. Mm. We start hopping gates, <clears throat> and mind you, it's dark time. Like a piece of the fence was sticking out of the fence, and it gashed me in the head. So now I'm leaking all over the place. Alex looked at me like he thought I was shot because I'm leaking everywhere. So then he hit the corner, and we got up out of there, and we came back home. 
that was one of like the craziest times right there. I mean, and right when all this happened, um, my best friend got murdered. And um, so, I mean, I was the last person that seen him or, you know, basically heard from him. Like, I, uh, the last thing I heard or something, he was going to like First Friday in Oakland. And then he ended up dead in Vallejo. I'm trying to Right here. Bro, I literally didn't even see it. Like, I literally didn't even see it. Me in the head. So now I'm leaking all over the place. Alex looked at me like, like he thought I was shot because I'm leaking everywhere. Oh, that's not real, dude. That's like they're showing like references. It's not like a real fucking thing. They're putting in like movie snapshots. Chill the fuck out. I literally thought. Shut up, dude. I was like, I know. the last thing I heard or some hey guys, the fucking the black dudes that were gonna kill them at the fucking house is also not this guy. Okay, hey, hey, chat. Hey, uh, the 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 dudes that they keep showing, that's not the actual person that was uh, gonna kill them. They're just showing it as like a reference point. Debo is real. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, man. Pretty sure, boys. They're like, yeah, we gonna kill y'all, right? Get on top of your brother. They all cock that shit back. God picked us up, bro. We both... Hold on. We start hopping gates. <clears throat> and mind you, it's dark. Alex look at me like he thought I was shot because I'm leaking everywhere. So then he hit the corner and we got up out of there. And we came back home. That was one of like, the craziest times right there. I mean, and right when all this happened, um, my best friend got murdered. And um, so, I mean, I was the last person that seen him or, you know, basically heard from him. Like, I don't know. The last thing I heard or something, he was going to like First Friday in Oakland. And then he ended up dead in Vallejo. I'm trying to know. Right here. It ain't the best tattoo. <laughs> I'm sorry. For a while there, they were just a wild teenagers, but they have settled down a lot. Tyler has a daughter. She just turned three. I mean, he acknowledged that the tattoo is his cheeks. So that's why I laughed because it's like kind of bad. You call this fuck, bro. Can a claw baby. I love my daddy. My daddy. The definition of a man is a person who takes care of responsibilities. A person who takes care of his family. You know, this dude has a healthier attitude than like 98% of people that uh, graduated college and are working as like mid-level marketing managers in the city. A person that puts others before him and I was never doing that. It was always me, 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 me. That day I just, just decided I'm stem lord andy's on fucking youtube talking about like alpha males and shit or like masculinity reactionary dipshits that like spend endless amounts of hours talking about like what a what a what masculinity should really mean sigma males straight sigma males boys they are fucking they're holding frame pretty hard <laughs> Okay, never mind. <laughs> well, one thing I don't straight, like about <laughs> straight drinking and driving. Things, 180. Yeah. That was the quickest 180, dude. And they drink too much, they fucked up. <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. That's what I don't like. And sometimes I say, hey, this is too much. Slow down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, babe. I'm about to come meet you. All right, hold on. I told you not to post nothing. Now they you know, I can post whatever I want, Alex. She posts what she wants, Alex. Oh, all right. Bro, babe, please don't pull up. You about to pull up? Bro, the, bro, the bitch around the corner, bro. What bitch? And she hammered up, bro. She talking about she gonna pop one of these bitches, bro. We gotta go. Oh, 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 o
Like, you didn't tell me that bitch was coming. So you about to tell me that? So you about to lie right here and tell me that that bitch was coming? Bro, she, she, so, she just popped. She hammered up. Popped up. You all on the bitch Instagram? You think I can't see that shit? <laughs> it was definitely Alex's fault. And I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it or nothing. It was Alex's fault because Alex has been leading her on. Okay, she is an instigator, dude. You can tell. Oh, my God. Even from the limited amount of interactions that we've had with this person, like, is so obvious. Oh, my God, dude. She fucking loves drama. Look at this. Your life is a movie, bro. I mean, literally. She pulled up tripping because she seen me on this bitch Instagram. So she pulled up tripping trying to fight the bitch. Fuck up out of here, bitch. Nigga just ate my pussy last night. Oh, you be eating her ass too? Bro, bro, oh, why you gotta bro. assume that? But at the same damn time, it was her fault for pulling up. Oh, the girl. I know a girl. I seen a girl. <laughs> Bitch, I'm out here chicken talking, pulling up on my nigga, chucking chicken for the nigga that you paying, bitch. Oh, yeah. Huh? This just happen a lot. Dude. All the time. Different bitches. Yeah, all the time. Bigger. You foolish. Okay. Bro, You're I told foolish. that's why I told you don't come today. When they get some good dick and buy a white boy, <laughs> bitches fall in love. They don't know how to act. I, I be changing these hoes life. You look dumb as fuck. Like you look dumb. It's irritating how dumb you look. When you tell the bitch what she want to hear, this is what happens. In the long run, it's going to hurt her feelings. Checkmate. Bro, hey, Tyler, bro, hey, go, where my dog at? Where the dog at? Bro, go, go, go pull up on uh, the little bitch. Where my dog at? I saw him, I, bro, I don't know. Uh, bro, where did she leave him at? I would I would have found him if they was in the car. <laughs> what? <laughs> I took him. He, they didn't lose him. him. And he knows I'm gonna steal the dog every time I come around if he don't play his cards right. So yeah. Hey, chest over. Bro, she is wow. Okay. <laughs> Four cars deep been in blocks trying to wax something. Nigga, I ain't getting in that whip with some straps coming. I, I could give a fuck if it was blood, I whack cousin. In the kitchen. I mean, look, look at her. They got the grandmas posted up. She got the ad jumping, cutty cutting up all through traffic. Call me back, nothing. You ain't even flipping nothing out that pack. What you get back from it? Please let me know. Never in my life been a type that a stress a hoe. I'm trying to get out of here. I don't want to be in here. I'm trying to get rich and get the fuck up out of the projects. Hey, we ain't going to get rich and act like we don't know nobody. Yeah, bitch. We're going to bring them all with us. Okay, that was incredible. That was incredible, dude. That was actually fucking sick. These guys are actors? No, they're not. No, you want to know why I know they're not actors? Because I immediately went. However, I immediately went and looked at their fucking Instagram. As soon as, the, as, soon as I saw the video... As soon as I saw the video, I looked at their Instagram. <laughs> Wait, is this a real one? New, new, night. Oh my God, this is a new one. No, they're definitely real, dude. Northern Lion hits back. However, all I'm gonna say, cause I know this clip's going to Hassan. You want to talk about leaked DMs, Hassan? Don't make me leak the fact that you haven't replied to my last message. What? In the DMs, I was the last person to send a- I mean, yeah, I admitted that. But that was like the conversation ended. You know what I mean? To Hassan. I said, ha ha, no space, no capital letters. And he has not replied yet. And that was like December 21st. Where's, where's the react to the haha -ha or like, uh, so true or something. <laughs> anyway, um, dude. Oh, this is the rich white girl that goes and has a baby in Ethiopia. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is going to be insane. Oh my god. Oh. Hit him back with a so true. I feel like I watched a new GTA preview. So the video wasn't actually made by Andrew for the record. This was uh this is made by uh the the uh OG cameraman. 
Andrew's friend, Nick Mosher. He's the one who made it. And uh, it was very good. This was really, really good. I, I loved it. Did you say eats a baby in Ethiopia? No, 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 no. I said she falls in love with an Ethiopian man and then uh, like moves to Ethiopia and has a baby there, I think. And she's like a rich white girl. Oh, my God. Um, you have corrupted me to the core, Mr. Pecker. I got a COVID test today, and this girl, which did the test on me, had bangs, winged eyeliner, was cute as fuck. When she asked me something, I literally froze up and said, yep. She looked at me weirdly and then repeated herself, asking me for my name. I feel shit. Thanks. Uh, Yazan ended, uh, and, uh, ended in a crazy place. Like, there's some, there are a lot more questions, but I think there's a new season with Yazan, so we're excited for that. Um, that was 90 minutes, Beyonce, yeah, it ended faster than it started. New Blady, yeah, I'm not listening to that. One of the Haas was in this article at the top. What? Which one? Bay Area is poor. Bear brunt of the shutdown. See, I'm like, I'm stuck. It's stuck in my head. It's good. It's like kind of catchy, dude. There, this is like. Here, let's do it again. Let's run this twice. Let's run the beginning again. We've been everywhere and on every bitch. Uh, the twins think we didn't did it again, huh? <laughs> two black bitches in the bins. Huh? <laughs> Why does he say two black bitches in the bins when he drives a fucking Mustang from like 97? <laughs> of course, they're very popular. They're the only white boys in Moran. Hey, bitch, I'm in my mo. Money turn me on, oh. bitch. I'm chasing chicken. I ain't never chasing hoes, chasing bitch. I'm really young, oh. bitch. You really gone. Really gone. You ain't talking oh. money. Get the fuck up on my phone. Hey, bitch. I'm in my mo. Money turn me on. Oh, one of them has a. Oh, one of them has a uh, beamer. Bitch, I'm really young, bitch. You really gone. You ain't talking money. Get the fuck up on my phone. It is catchy as fuck. Is that? Is this their song? Or is this actually? In my mode by Drew B's. The guy who made this stays posted with Alex Jones. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's not them. Wait, I want to hear the song. That makes me so sad. It's a colonized track shaking my head. I used to work as a Ben salesman. I can tell you that 75% of the marketing strategy is Ben's as a brand idea. Welcome to the world of luxury cars. What? God damn it, dude. Bitch, I'm in my mo. Money turn me on. Bitch, I'm chasing chicken. I ain't never chasing hoes. Bitch, I'm really young. Bitch, you really gone. This song is actually really fucking good. And now I'm bummed. I was like, this is a good ass song. Like, it's kind of weird that they made it. And they didn't even make it. talking money. Get the fuck up on my phone. Hey, bitch, I'm in my mo. Money turn me on. Bitch, I'm chasing chicken. I ain't never chasing hoes. Bitch, I'm really young. Bitch, you really gone. You ain't talking money. Get the fuck up on my phone. Hey. He's just chasing chickens. He's never chasing hoes. Baby, keep it lit. Baby, who you with? I can't tell the time. All these diamonds on my wrist. Can't tell if I'm rapping or I'm... Never say he was a rapper? I just suspected that he, the dude was a rapper. Like, one of them was. I literally just automatically assumed. He just... Can you... Can you, can you tell me that he doesn't fucking give off white rapper vibes? Like, tell me, tell me that that motherfucker wasn't, I mean, I still believe that they are rapping, by the way. I've hung out with these guys before. I think them and my friends said we got to get to the studio like 50 times in an hour. 
Yeah, racial profiling the white rapper. No, one of them is a plumber. The other one is a entrepreneur. Steven Crowder bashes out H3 podcast for mocking Joe Rogan. What the fuck? His real name Ethan? Ethan. Ethan. Yeah. Is it? Uh, the H3 Yeah, yeah. H3 it's thing? Ethan. Ethan. What is it there? Ethan Klein. Ethan Klein. Your uh, mic's not on there. You're the, you're the audio guy. Ethan Klein. So he's a drug dealing plumber. I say he as they are a hive mind. He could make it out of the projects by just uh, plumbing. Plumbing pays a lot. Well, I think the plumber also has the, the BMW. React to this just crazy. King Von's dark moment on Twitch. What the fuck is that? Just because all wannabe white rappers act like black people. Their music sounds exactly like Shoreline Mafia's. There you go. I love how the the sub audio guy has to. No, I'm see, that, that, that's, <laughs> that's my fault. I was I was trying to play a clip. Ethan so Klein, right? So this is H three H three is like a popular podcast on YouTube, yeah. and um, this is kind of when people criticize podcasts, right? When they're saying, "Look, anyone can do a podcast," and it's it used to be with radio or television, you had to fundamentally be interesting. Yeah. And no, he's one of the twins is literally a plumber. Don't test me on this. One of the twins is a plumber. The other one just lays pipe. That's why they say he's a plumber. But like one of the twins is literally a fucking plumber. You see his car, dude. What are you talking about? I understand that. But I also have a problem with gatekeepers because sometimes there were interesting yeah. people who couldn't make it through the gatekeepers because they were too controversial, right? But then there were some people who have no business really being on air because they don't offer anything. So this exhibit here of H3H3 <laughs> Productions is, is perfect. It's like, you know this, when you've done stand-up, right? And then every stand-up community is like, I do a podcast. People go like, oh yeah, my husband's unemployed too. Yes, of course. <laughs> right? There's over one million. Did right. you know that? Yeah. Right. Yeah. It doesn't surprise me. Seven are good. But they, they were uh, upset about Joe Rogan, I guess, something, something Joe Rogan talking about masks. I just think this is one of the most po one of the more popular podcasts on YouTube, from what I understand. I don't think I've ever seen a more perfect and cap. Crowder's clapping back because Ethan said on the last pod that Crowder reached out in the past to collab and Ethan ignored them. <laughs> hey, maybe Steven Crowder should be chasing chickens instead of chasing hoes, dude. Encapsulation of groupthink and discouraging any sort of critical thinking whatsoever and laughing about it with no self-awareness. This is my favorite clip uh, of the year. Let's roll it. They said you gotta wear a mask, so I'm out there wearing a mask. Yeah. Wow, big deal. And then now they say, you know, if you're outside, you don't Wait need to wear it. a mask. It's pretty simple. You wanna talk about who's dumb? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a whole, there's a whole, the CDC is like this whole governmental body with scientists and shit that just tell us what to do. You don't have to think about it, dude. <laughs> wait they're mad that like they're mad that they're saying like hey don't worry guys like the government handled it for you because you're too fucking dumb to figure it out on your own that like maybe covering your fucking face in the middle of a pandemic will help stop the spread of an otherwise deadly fucking virus like Oh my God, they're literally too stupid because he said, because he said they're thinking for you, you know, they got it handled. So like, obviously that means that they are not individual thinkers. They're not independent thinkers. I'm Steven Crowder. I do my own research, by the way. Like, yeah, dude. Yeah, bro. Straight up. Don't go to the doctor, dude. Don't, don't do it. I think conservatives should stop going to the doctor. Literally. Look, if you're conservative, be an independent thinker. Like, oh, you got a big-ass gash and it's just leaking? Start smelling bad, dude? Don't go to the doctor. Be an independent thinker. You can fucking cover that shit up with a Google search, dude. After dark. <laughs> Seriously, they just tell you. You don't have to think about it, dude. On, By the way, do what I they mean, tell you. My, my... Like, he's literally saying, if you're too stupid, like... There you go. Like, you don't have to think about it. The government's handled it for you. 
Wait, that's so stupid. Crowder also isn't an independent thinker. He listens to the government the safety test cars. Yeah, literally. So stupid, dude. I can't believe you would ever, ever wear a fucking seatbelt, you pussy. Like, what are you? What are you, a pussy, dude? You're going to listen to the fucking government wear a seatbelt, dude? God damn, what a coward, dude. The rule is, right, whatever we say, always just extend the context a minute in either direction. It only gets worse. <laughs> like, <laughs> Joe Rogan's so stupid. Why is he questioning uh, any, like, the CDC or Fauci? Yeah, seriously. Dude, yeah, no, for real, dude. What a cuck. What a cuck, dude. No, seriously, straight up. Start driving a car without a seatbelt, I think. And, and why would you even, why would you even follow the nanny state with all of its rules and regulation? Like, uh, I got to stop at a red light at an intersection. Pfft, not me, bro. I'm an independent thinker, dude. <laughs> like these guys are so stupid, dude. And the worst is like their audience is just as fucking stupid or even dumber than they are somehow. Cause they're watching this as though it's like good content, you know, getting this slop fed to them directly. And, and not even remotely questioning the idiotic take that he's out putting out here right now. Like, imagine not even looking at the fucking output. Like, yeah, I'm an independent thinker, brother. That's why I watch Steven Crowder and I laugh at people saying doctors, uh, you know, doctors have a, a vested interest in uh, figuring out how to uh, mitigate the spread of a pandemic. Sleep, that's why, that's why I watch, uh, you know, that's why I'm part of the mug club by, you know, guy who wears empty gun holsters on a show and has a bunch of, uh, you know, pops right there to show how much of a beacon of masculinity he is, brother. You're not a doctor. I don't even know. I don't want to think about things. <laughs> I just <laughs> do, do what people <laughs> tell me. And we just went through with uh, Fauci how he went from it occurred in nature. Yeah. Oh, no, it may have happened in a lab. They've been wrong. So you could, if you do that, there are many instances where you could have made yourself very sick. Well, yeah, when do I follow them? <laughs> At what point along the chain of their changing their mind do I go, well, that's the way I should go. No, sorry, that's the way I should you're, go. You're, you didn't understand. Bro, yeah, dude, 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 dude. These guys literally lack object permanence, dude. It's crazy. It's like things can't change. Like the world isn't complex and things can literally never change. So if... Scientists tell you one thing, and then let's say, for example, there is a vaccine, right? Which greatly reduces the number of hospitalized people that get COVID and, uh, you know, mitigate some of the most significant consequences uh, of COVID spreading uncontrollably in the United States of America. So then the rules change as a consequence of that. There's more liberty for you. There's more... Uh, you know, there's less rules and regulation revolving around it because like we are on the end of the final stage of the pandemic. Like we're, we're, we're moving ahead. So there are no, there are new rules. And, and that is of course, something that you can describe to anyone. A chimpanzee could understand this concept, but a conservative cannot because you cannot teach a conservative. A conservative is like, I made my own mind up, brother. Sorry. It's fucking crazy. I just, you know, uh, I, uh, uh, fuck you, dude. Uh, uh, it's just like things can't things can't change ever. Stand his last half. Uh, you don't even have to think about it, dude. Uh, <laughs> You're already too far <laughs> out of the prison that he set. They tell you what to do. You don't even have to think about it, dude. Look, I, I'm an independent thinker, brother, which is why I still believe the world is flat. Is you know, motherfuckers thought it was flat back in the day, and I think you know science got it right one time. And that's it, dude. <laughs> like, it, it's so fucking stupid. It, it's just like, how do you choose to, how do you choose, like, what point in time uh, to listen to the, the uh, science and reasoning? Like, you just, you just hold on to that fucking point in time? Like, is that it? You just, like, clamp on to the CDC's takes or the, the takes of, of, um, the takes from like, uh, you know, uh, epidemiologists from like before the pandemic. So it's over. Sorry, I don't need to wear a mask normally. So I'm just never going to wear a mask because it, when there was no pandemic, uh, you didn't need to wear a mask. So you're fucking stupid for even wanting to wear one. Also, now I'm mad because the CDC is saying you don't have to wear one anymore. 
That's not a good rule of thumb no. for anything in life. <laughs> but they act like everyone in here is the idiot. Are, are there any people that watch this podcast? Is it like, does it have... I like, think it's relative. Yeah, yeah. it's pop. I mean, the, the entire premise behind this argument is that like, you as an individual, by virtue of being an individual and nothing else, know more about uh, disease, uh, uh, disease prevention than people who have literally studied it their entire lives. And STEM lords, mind you, because remember, these guys are like STEM supremacists, right? But like, not the pussy kind of STEM uh, lords who, I guess, were, were so stupid that they studied pandemics and epidemiology their entire lives and, and then had like a, a whole career in, in disease prevention. I mean, those guys are fucking idiots. Me, on the other hand, I am armed with the knowledge of my collective Facebook group. You know what I mean? So I, I very clearly know more than these stupid scientists, dude. Popular. Seriously? Here's how I guarantee you something. If there's a guy and a, a man and a woman, I should say, on one side of the desk. Well, but questioning things is good. Yes, questioning things is good, ultimately. But there are ways to do it. Questioning things is good. Being contrarian for the sake of uh, contrarianism, when you can't like comprehend that countries that actually countries that actually followed the uh, the 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 guidance of their own respective uh, centers for disease control were able to actually you know nip this problem in the bud before it became such a goddamn problem like like it did in the United States of America. Like, just look at that. If you can't comprehend. Uh, or if you're questioning the scientists in this regard, then just use your fucking eyes and your brain and like look to other countries that I guess magically uh, were able to deal with this problem way better than uh, we did. and the woman is in a sideways hat uh, uh, everything they're saying is useless <laughs> <laughs> he does not he doesn't talk like he's thought about anything in life well that's no, what's funny that you like... just because she went after joe rogan because apparently i think he made fun of her hat or her mask oh, or something are you serious really? yeah what happened was joe rogan said why is this girl uh she's outside and she's wearing a double mask she's like yeah i was wearing the double mask because at that time the cdc was saying even if you're vaccinated you have to wear a double mask so i wore a double mask yeah don't even think about it, dude. I wear a double hat, both sides. Imagine, and look, imagine if that was applied. Uh, any, I mean, that's exact. Mao is China. Yeah. Into a Russia, USSR. I mean, but that is what, that's what, the, in other. Following the CDC guidelines is the same as, as like authoritarian regimes. Like what? Yeah, Maoism is when the government tells you to wear a fucking double mask in a pandemic, dude. And the the triple mask is is mega Maoism. Like everybody knows this. What? I work at the hospital and people wear surgical masks under a cloth all the time. LMAO. Yeah, what a bunch of yeah pff, you in your pussy ass hospital, dude. Pff, imagine. I like to give bacteria directly into open wounds. I like to cough directly into open wounds, dude. I'm a doctor, by the way. Uh, doctorate in Facebook. That's where I got my doctorate, dude. This is what I mean. Like, just... Like, sometimes I really do think that uh, these, these hogs don't deserve healthcare. Like, it's just... It's so bad. Yeah, your doctors are a bunch of sheep, dude. Seriously. Pff, your doctors are basically authoritarian... Uh, uh, it, Maoists, like it's crazy to me. In other words, the government would come in and try and recondition. Wow, they're making fun of an Israeli woman's accent. It seems anti-Semitic. Okay, everybody, stop, stop, stop. Like, like that's not just chill. Okay, God damn it. That's right? exactly what Google's listen, wanted. Yeah. You may hear things that speak out against government, but you are not to listen to them. Hey, listen, I don't even want to think about it, dude. <sighs> We don't need slide presentation. Go to next house. They're, yeah. they're good. And that pig was from last summer. There were no vaccines yet. Bro, this is the same kind of energy that uh, conservatives bring to the table when they see stuff, when they say stuff like, how could you, per how could you possibly know about what happened? It's not like you were there. Like, yes, I'm literally not a baby. And I hope I am not talking to also another baby you can read things in a book and learn about them. Like, 
how, how do you think learning uh, works? I, I don't know. I feel like we got to go back to the drawing board with conservatives and just be like, there are people, there is this thing called division of labor, okay? It has made us significantly more productive as a society so that, you know, uh, two hands can clap, but one hand on its own can't really make a lot of noise. You know what I'm saying? So like you, you work together, you collaborate. Society is built on the principles of collaboration, right? And one of the, one of these, uh, collaborative elements, and that has been consistent throughout history is passing on knowledge of prior generations to the upcoming generation and being able to take in that information and then build upon that knowledge as though it's a foundation, right? That's how this works. So what some people do, okay, is take this knowledge and take it up to the next level, okay? Really learn about this hyper-specific thing in an effort to make sure that they can, you know, in times of need, operate with that prior knowledge that you don't have. That's just how it works. And, an in, and a smart, independent thinker is supposed to look at the accumulated knowledge from these uh these these uh people with the authority because they have the legitimacy because they have the background and say wow it see it sure seems like a lot of these scientists have the same exact conclusion right it's wild a lot of these scientists seem to have the exact same conclusion but even if that's not enough you can once again look to other examples of other countries that have been able to follow the same protocols and guidelines given by their scientists. And then you recognize, oh my God, it's like those guys did a better job than we did. Maybe the scientists at our country, in our country, actually were correct. It's like Tears, we talking about the skill, learn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's great. They just said don't think in so many words. Yeah. yeah. We including the words don't and think. Yeah, like he's the argument here is so funny, dude. It's literally like my doctor told me I have diabetes and therefore I need insulin shots. And listening to my doctor and getting insulin shots for my diabetes is literally the same as the uh as the KGB like throwing you in fucking jail. Okay, throwing you into the gulag. Like, listening to the doctor is the same exact is the same exact principle as living under an authoritarian regime and bootlicking for like the USSR, like Stalinist USSR. Diabetes is a bad point to bring up. Is so mistreated. Shut up, dude. It is actually kind of weird that, like, he's making the argument. Crowder is just upset that Ethan didn't want to collaborate with him years ago when they thought Ethan was a conservative. Crowder and Shibiba wanted to go on a show. Ethan was talking about it last week. Yeah. I mean, he was. Ethan used to be a big, big centrist. He has grown a lot since then, dude. And that's exactly what you expect from motherfuckers, dude. You know, that's exactly what what should happen. Which is... You know, you, they pretended they didn't know his name. Yeah, of course. Look at all these so-called free thinkers in your chat. They fall in line when you especially bring things up about the government, like kings, nameless kings. It sickens me to no end. Yeah, okay. Well, listen, we're going to take your crops now and uh, good luck with the weight loss. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> listen, yeah, if you, if they we tell you what to think, you don't <laughs> even have to think about it, dude. And then dude, that's so stupid, dude. I, like I, I can't get over this i'm sorry dude i i can't get over this i cannot get over how fucking dumb this is but also i can't get over the fact that i forgot to run an ad at the top of the hour so i'm going to run it at the half top hour okay and uh if you'd like to no longer see the ads obviously all you need to do is subscribe i fucking caught you slipping dude none of you thought that it was coming none of you not a single person in the chat was like an ad break's coming. Yeah, boo me all you want. I've seen what makes you smile. Your boos mean nothing to me.
Okay. Here's the one minute I break now. The kind of people, yeah. you know, those people where, let's say you make a self deprecating joke and, yes. you, and then you say something like, I meant to do that. And then there's that girl who thinks she's really clever. She's like, Yeah, right. Like, no, he didn't. It's like, Oh, you caught something. This is what that yeah. is. Like, you don't even have to think about it, dude. People out there are thinking. <laughs> no, it's like, they're, they're right. They're, they're literally right. I, I don't know why he's so mad at this. They're like, Correct. If you're so fucking stupid, if you are personally so fucking dumb that you can't comprehend uh, all of this for yourself, there are people who will think for you. Why is he so triggered, dude? It's kind of weird. Damn. I love how... Uh, yo, I love that Ethan got him so mad, dude. He's like, he's the most worked up about this. Why? <laughs> if a few Why? more people had thought about it, we'd probably have a lot more European Jews alive, a lot more Russians alive, a lot more Cambodians alive, a lot more Chinese. What? Victims of genocide were genocided because they listened to the government, dude. What a take. Yo, anyone that is not a conservative says this, they will get called out straight up. Conservatives will lose their fucking minds at anyone. You'd be like, oh, you're a Nazi. I can't believe you just said that. You're literally a Nazi. That's like, like. My man went from listening to scientists is authoritarianism to like victims of authoritarians and, and uh, genocidal regimes are only victims because they listen to the government. Wow. Just fucking use your mega brain to just, uh, you know, just uh, resist really hard against the Holocaust by thinking really hard against uh, it, thinking independently. Great. Yeah. Good take by this guy. Definitely not an anti-Semite, by the way. Just straight up says, if the Jews uh, thought more independently, the Holocaust wouldn't have happened. Wow, dude. Incredible take. Chinese alive. They've all been massacred because people didn't think about it. Okay. Yeah. Hey, hon, let's do a podcast where we talk about Even Steven Crowder's like, eh! look at his face about it. Okay. Yeah. Hey, hon, let's <laughs> Dude, look at his face. Look at his face. Like, uh, maybe that's why this clip is not on their original channel and on the red American instead. Dude, that's great. That's great. Uh, uh, bro, you're really dumb. This is why you're in the peanut gallery and you never get to substitute teach for the day when Steven's, I don't know, fucking getting his back blown out or whatever the fuck he does. Sorry. Um, he's saying if the Nazi sh soldiers did think for themselves, they would be alive, maybe? What? No, that's not what he's saying. <laughs> Dude, what? No, he's not saying that, idiot. <laughs> Let's do a podcast where we talk about things that we don't think about. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just not think and broadcast. Mm. What could go wrong? <laughs> hey. I mean, that's okay. I mean, that is. Follow us doing. on Instagram, by the way, or follow me on Instagram. Very good. Stay in the pet corner with your Larry Kudlow looking ass. Yeah, why was he in uh, Link cosplay? Does anybody know why he was in Link cosplay? Uh, is there a particular reason why he, my man was in Link cosplay or, or what? Dude, it's, it's so weird. Like, why are they jumping on the dumbest fucking points that they possibly could? Conservatives should be actively running away from being called this way. Like, conservatives should be actively running away from... I, I don't know. Like, from, from people that link conservatism to, like, this kind of idiocy. It is really strange. 
Yo, you made it on their story? What is this? The finesser? Oh, no way. I did? Oh my god, this shit's out already? What the fuck? Hassanabi reacts to the Hoff Twins documentary. What the fuck?